Let's take a look at melanogenesis inhibitors and how they work. We know the process of melanogenesis is complex and it contains many steps and reactions. However, it's not really essential to understand the entire process to understand how tyrosinase inhibitors work. There are various stages within melanogenesis where the process can be interrupted or halted, which prevents further production of melanin pigment. The most common of these are the action of tyrosinase on the amino acid tyrosine to L-dopa or the action of tyrosinase on L-dopa to L-dopa quinone or both. We know that whether the melanin is eumelanin or pheomelanin, tyrosinase inhibitors can take effect during the early stages of the melanogenesis process. By interrupting the action of tyrosinase on tyrosine or another early component of the process, melanogenesis can be inhibited. Let's take a look at some of the more well-known tyrosinase inhibitors. Tyrosinase inhibitors can be used in the treatment room and in home care products. The key is to use them frequently and used also in conjunction with regular exfoliation. Tyrosinase inhibitors inhibit the production of melanin at some point during the tyrosinase phase of melanogenesis. Examples of tyrosinase inhibitors, although there are many, are arbutin, vitamin C, and kojic acid. They all work in similar ways, either through the direct inhibition of tyrosinase or through copper chelation. Tyrosinase is a copper-dependent enzyme, so by targeting copper, the enzyme tyrosinase can no longer function. Arbutin is a natural derivative of hydroquinone without the toxic side effects that are often associated. Arbutin comes from plants like cranberry, mulberry, pear, and bearberry, but can also be synthetically created in a lab. Vitamin C is also considered a tyrosinase inhibitor with fabulous antioxidant properties. There are many forms of vitamin C and some are more stable, therefore considered more effective than others. Another example is kojic acid, which is naturally found in mushrooms. Kojic acid is a copper chelator. We know tyrosinase is a copper-containing enzyme, and by targeting copper, tyrosinase is ineffective.